As built for AutoCAD. Tutorial Creating a Floor Plan. After this tutorial, you will be able to create and manage slices, fit outline plan of walls, create a door, create a room height block, and create a staircase. This tutorial shows the typical process of creating a floor plan from a point cloud. Please download the accompanying tutorial material to follow along with this video. You will find the data on the Faro Knowledge Base or from the Getting Started page. Begin by opening the floor plan underscore tutorial underscore en dot dwg file. First, define a slice to see the outlines of the rooms and walls. On the As Built Modeler tab, go to Sections and select Slice, Define Slice, UCS, Option. Follow the command line prompts at the bottom of the screen. Define a slice parallel to the XY plane. Right-click and select the XY option. Ensure that the Node Point Cloud Snap option is enabled and click the first point for the location of the slice. Press Enter to define the thickness of the slice. Confirm the pre-selected 0.1 by pressing Enter or type 0.1 to get a 10 cm slice. Switch to the top view and zoom to the kitchen area. Now we can clearly see the outlines of the walls. By default, the slice section we defined is labeled current. To rename the section, we have two choices. Double click slowly or right click and select rename. Rename it slice underscore floor one. Name your sections so they are easy to identify. By selecting or deselecting the box, you can show or hide the other sections. To isolate a section, right click and select isolate. Remember to save. Now we can start drawing our floor plan. Always begin with the walls. Ensure to draw on the appropriate layer. Navigate to the Home tab and select Room Outline. Go to the As Built Building Plans tab and select a Fit Outline Plan command. Make a practice of looking at the command line. It will tell you what to do next. Here it asks us for the first point and offers additional options. In the line above it shows us the current settings. Ensure the fitting is on. Select the Config option or right-click and pick Config to ensure the command is properly configured. Now select 2D Polyline. Ensure that the width of the search area is set to 0.1 meters and the option Connect Segments to each other is selected. Click OK. Now we are ready to start clicking our wall points. Press F4 or click the 3D Object Snap to turn it off. The software will do the rest to match the lines to the point cloud. Two clicks per wall is all you need. All points within that green block will be used to best fit the lines. Continue with the next wall. The points do not need to be at the end points. The corners will be fixed automatically. In this next section, we don't have a lot of points, so turn off fitting and turn on ortho. Now one click will create a wall at 90 degrees to the previously defined wall. Turn fitting back on and continue to define walls. Notice this wall has an opening, so click two points and create a small wall segment before the opening. Then click continue or right click and select continue. To continue this wall, click two points after the opening. Notice that only one wall has been created. Follow the same process for the next wall. To close the outline of the kitchen, right-click and select Close. Zoom out and turn off the point cloud slice. You see the room outline of the kitchen completed. Now we will work on the bistro area. Turn the slice back on and zoom in. In case you do not see such a perfect outline like we have in the video, go to As Built Modeler and select Shift Slice Downward or Shift Slice Upward until a decent view of the room outlines. Notice that the points are quite thick here. In the Section Manager, we can reduce the point size to 1. Now the room outline looks thinner, but still very clear. Go to the As Built Building Plans tab and select the Fit Outline Plan command. Click two points on each wall. Click close to the wall, but you do not have to click exactly on it. 
To continue the wall and close the opening, right-click and select Close. Now we have two room outlines completed. Next, we want to add a door between the kitchen and the stairwell. Turn on all other room prepared outlines. Go to the Home tab and turn on the layer Room Outline Result. Zoom into the door between the kitchen and the staircase area. We will use external scan views to place the door. These easy-to-navigate photorealistic scan views are provided either by VirtuServe or Scene, both Faro products. If you installed VirtuServe during the as-built setup, launch it now. If you are using Scene, forward the video to minute 0610. Click Open Existing Project and browse to the downloaded tutorial data. Select the floor plan underscore tutorial dot pvp to open the VirtuServe project. Double click scan number 009 to open it. Place VirtuServe and AutoCAD side by side. Enable the AutoCAD macros bar in VirtuServe and you are ready to start. Forward the video to minute 0648. If you installed Scene, browse to the downloaded tutorial data and double click the floor plan underscore scene project file to open the scene project. Go to the Explore tab. In the Structure view, double click 009 to open its Quick view. You need the Draw to AutoCAD app loaded. As an as built user, you can download it from the Faro App Center and use it free of charge. Go to the Apps tab. Click Draw to AutoCAD icon to open the toolbar. Place Scene and AutoCAD side by side. In this video, we continue using Scene, but you can also follow this tutorial using VirtuServe. Hide the Section Manager. Then go to As Built Building Plans tab and select the Door command. Click Change Door Type and select the Swing Door Type. See how the preview adjusts according to the wall design options you select. Select all three options and click OK. In Insert Doors, ensure the correct options are selected as shown here. Click OK. Following the command line prompt, select a first wall line. When asked for the wall thickness, press Enter to switch to the Line option and select the second wall line. Next, press F4 to turn the 3D object snap on and click one point on each reveal of the door in AutoCAD. Select the swing direction and confirm it with a click. The final two points we need are at the bottom and top of the door. Move to Scene and select the 3D point measurement. Click the bottom of the door and the top. The coordinates are sent to AutoCAD to finish the command. The door is now complete. We have a block of the dimensions of the door. Now we will add a room height annotation. On the As Built Building Plans tab, Dimensions area, click Absolute Height, Floor and Room Height. Go back to Scene and pick a point on the floor in the ceiling. Note, when navigating in Scene, press Shift while moving the mouse. The dialog shows the floor height and the room height and offers options for the symbol type and display. Ensure that relative height is picked. Click OK. Move the block reference if needed. We have completed a room with a door and a room height. Finally, we will add the stairs to our floor plan. On the Home tab, select Layers and turn on the staircase layer. Zoom in to the staircase area. We start by drawing the risers. Go to the As Built Building Plans tab and start the Segments command. In the command line, we are asked for the number of points per segment. Ensure it is 2 and press Enter. Press Enter again to select Line option. Double-click scan number 014 in Scene to open it. Navigate to the staircase area. Press Shift while moving the mouse. Confirm 3D points are being sent from Scene to AutoCAD. Click two points on each riser front. Notice as you click in Scene, the line for each riser is drawn in AutoCAD. Repeat all the way to the top to create the 11 risers that define the staircase. Upon completion, Turn off Point Cloud for a better view in AutoCAD. Now that we have the lines for the risers, we can create the actual staircase. Select a staircase command. Click Change Measuring Mode, ensure you select existing steps, and click OK. Select the options displayed here, and click OK. Select the first boundary line for the staircase. Press Enter. Select the second boundary line and confirm with Enter. Next, select the line for the first step, then select all segments or all other risers. 
Press Enter when complete. Select the direction of the steps when prompted. To complete the command, we need to add the stairs dimensions. Select the options as displayed here. Click OK. Click the top of two consecutive steps or two consecutive treads in Scene. In AutoCAD, click to insert the block and finish the command. Now we have the block with the dimensions of the staircase, and the staircase is complete. In this tutorial, you learned how to create and manage slices, fit outline plan of walls, create a door, create a room height block, and create a staircase. Mm -hmm.